Okay, good morning, everybody. I wanted to uh, just talk a little bit, a follow-up from what I talked about yesterday. Remember, I, I, yesterday's video was talking about heart, heart attack risk uh, using a MESA calendar. And so uh, just recently, a new study came out looking at uh, that same population, the multi-ethnicity uh, study on atherosclerosis. This is 2019, just came out, showing a relationship between low-carb diets uh, both animal and plant diets, so it doesn't matter, low-carb plant or animal diets, uh, and the progression of coronary artery calcification. Remember, coronary artery calcification progression is indicative of advancing atherosclerotic disease, and what they saw is that in low-carb groups, whether they're animal or plant-based, showed no evidence of progression of coronary artery calcification, which is a huge, huge finding. Uh, this indicates that eating animal products in a low-carb situation does not seem to be associated with atherosclerotic disease, which is one of the cases that many of us have been making. It also explains why we are seeing now uh, evidence of people actually reversing calcification on the uh, uh, animal-based diet and, and why the reason I have zero calcification in my arteries. Again, uh, again, this doesn't show soft plaque, but it's still a huge, huge indicator, even Vegan cardiologist Kim Williams, Joel Kahn, and other vegan cardiologists will tell you that the coronary artery calcification score is one of the best predictors of cardiovascular disease risk. So that's extremely important. I'll link that study in the description below. As I talked about yesterday, I said I'd talk a little about kidney function and kidney disease. Uh, so this is something that we often see when people, uh, in, in a couple populations, people that have a lot of muscle mass, you know, myself included and other guys, or people that eat high-protein diets, will often see an elevation in something called their serum creatinine. And so serum creatinine can be elevated in, in renal failure. That certainly can occur. Uh, we also see uh, an elevation in blood urea nitrogen, nitrogen also, and those things can be associated with uh, kidney failure. However, in the high-protein situation, and particularly uh, people with high amounts of lean muscle mass, we see that those things can be elevated and not necessarily detrimental. And so one of the issues though, is that the way we, uh, we calculate the glomerular filtration rate, uh, the glomerular filtration rate is something that gives us a proxy of kidney function, uh, is using that serum creatinine. And so if your serum creatinine is elevated, uh, and maybe it's elevated for high protein reasons so it doesn't really give a good estimate of what's truly going on with kidney function so there is fortunately another test out there called the uh, cisplatin or sorry cystatin c test so it's c-y-s-s-t-a-t-i-n-c which will give you a more accurate look at your kidney function your your glomerular filtration rate without using using creatinine which can be artificially uh, you know, uh, ambiguous on a high protein diet. And so I've got another study out there that shows that actually people eating a high protein diet are shown to actually improve kidney function uh, and what, as assessed by cystatin C, which I think is important to know. So as you, for you guys that are uh, healthcare providers and you're not aware of the cystatin C and you've got a patient that's on a high protein or an animal-based diet, uh, and you see an elevated creatinine and you're concerned, go ahead and get a cystatin C. All right? And for you guys that are Concerned about that, and it's you, let your doctor know, hey, cystatin C, or go, go order it yourself, go to LabQuest or, or sorry, LabCorp or, La, or Quest, and, and do that if you live in the U.S. And so that's an important thing to note. Uh, like I said, I've included that, that uh, study uh, at the bottom of the, uh, uh, you know, in the description part. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Uh, exciting to see uh, this, this, this uh, research is starting to, to starting to, uh, indicate you know what we're doing is making sense it's, it's, it's lining up what we're seeing clinically and we're seeing anecdotally and so that's cool to see and i'm very excited uh, to see our our big study uh, taking off in a few months on a carnivore diet and more to come uh so very nice to see and i appreciate you guys for sharing your story you guys are what is driving this quest for knowledge and, and i've said before it really doesn't matter what the study show ultimately all that matters is what are the results people are getting now in a long term you know, and uh, for the people out there that say, well, you're going to have a heart attack. Well, it doesn't seem to be holding up. You know, uh, you're going to have cancer. Well, 
basically we don't know the answer to that. You know, remember, and I'll, I'll do a separate study on, on, on colorectal cancer, uh, but remember the risk difference. We talked about cardiac difference yesterday. The risk difference for someone based on, even if we believe meat causes cancer, it goes from 4.5% to about 5.3%. So again, less than 1% change there. And again, how much do we need to go on a vegan uh, cardboard diet to mitigate our risk by 1%? I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. But we'll talk more about that in the next 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 study. All right, Cinder Grill, Out of Wild Grill, coupon codes uh, still in the, uh, uh, in the description there. Uh, if you guys are interested in a training program that uh, that I that I uh, developed, I'll put that link in there as well. It's a lot of uh, similar exercise to what I do. It's, it's it's not quite what I do because I do things that are kind of extreme, but based on explosivity, conditioning, strength training, uh, you know, hypertrophy work done in a safe, effective, and efficient uh, system. That's called the Carnivore Training System. All right, guys, like, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave your comments. Uh, I will continue to try to do more of these videos if you guys find them helpful. Thanks.